What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Robert. If it's your first time here, do me a huge favor and drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. Now, um, before we get into the review and everything, I just uh, want to shout out another content creator, uh, Mark over at M Will Closet Collection. Um, he actually does a lot of easy content and whatnot. He actually posted a review for the 700 MNVN Blue Tent a few days ago. Um, go and check out his channel, subscribe, um, and just see what his take is on the actual MNVN model. I know it's a different colorway, but he makes pretty good content, so go check him out. I'll drop a link um, probably up here somewhere to his uh, video for the Blue Tent. Now, let's go ahead and get into the review. So, let's go ahead and start with the box as usual. 700 MNVN box, your standard easy cardboard box here with 700 on the top and MNVN on the side there. All right, I picked this up in the US men's size 10 and we'll get into sizing later. Now, before we get into the video, I actually recorded a video for this like ah, two or three days ago, but my lavalier mic, the battery for that went out midway and I didn't know. So about half of the video had no audio. So. I'm actually using, it's a better microphone, I'm shooting on the Rode Video, well, the audio is being recorded from the Rode Video Mic NTG. It's a little further away from me because of the camera angle and whatnot, but I know y'all don't care about that, just thought I would mention it. So, actually using this mic now until I go get another battery. I was just feeling lazy today and didn't want to go out and grab a battery for my lab mic. But, anyway, here we go. The 700 MNVN in the triple black colorway. Now, um, if you've watched my reviews on the MNVN uh, Blue Tint or the Cyan Blue, you will know that this is now one of my favorite Yeezys to wear daily. I think it's one of the better models and it's comfortable. I will honestly say that it's not the best looking model. You know, a lot of people don't really like the 700 on the side. And the more I look at this black colorway, I actually like this one a lot. Um, but it's really comfortable. But let's just go ahead and get started with the review. Obviously, as you can see, all over the upper there, you've got that black nylon material and you've got the classic 700 chunky midsole there in the all black uh, color. It looks kind of gray in certain lights, but it's pretty much black. And the thing that stands out probably the most about the MNVN model is that huge 700 text there on the side. Now, that is 3M. There are quite a few 3M hits all over this shoe. So you've got it right there and you've got it here on the eyelets. These pieces right here are actually 3M. So if that's your thing, then you've got quite a bit of that on this shoe. Um, but yeah, that's it, 700 midsole there, 700 on the side. Let's go ahead and take a look at the toe box here. Um, a better look at that nylon material. And as you can see there, um, you've got this kind of, it's kind of like a plastic feeling piece right here. And on the sides here, this is 3M as well. All right. Now, moving up from there, you've got a very plush tongue. It's kind of like nylon material down here, but as you move up, you got some leather at the top right there as well. All right, and as you can see, they do have infinity laces on this shoe, um, which I think on this model, it actually fits the shoe pretty well. I'm not a fan of the infinity lace in general, like on other shoes, but I think on the MMVN, it does uh, you know work out pretty well on this model. Um, while we're talking about the tongue and everything, I want to call out how padded it is. If you haven't tried a pair of these on, I suggest try them on and get them in hand to see what I'm talking about because the tongue is really padded as well as around the ankle collar area. And I'm guessing that's to kind of keep the foot locked down because you don't really have laces to tie. Um, now, moving around to the midsole here, you've got your... Again, that nylon material on the upper there. And also, as you can see, there's no 700 text on this side. Um, you can kind of see the, I guess, I don't know what I would call it here. I'm forgetting the word. But anyway, these like kind of straps that kind of hold in the laces here. Well, yeah, they kind of rough at the side to kind of keep your foot in place. You can kind of see it there underneath. But the side, medial side is pretty plain. And also you got your midsole there. Some more hits of 3M right here on the back as well. All right, now let's take a look at the heel of the shoe. So on the heel of the shoe, you've got obviously that chunky midsole, but as you move up, you've got this kind of really hard like rubberized piece right here on the back there. And then right above that, you've got that plush ankle collar that I was talking about earlier. <clears throat> All right, now let's take a look at the outsole of the shoe. You've got your standard 700 outsole here in all black. And as you can see, you've got the boost 
uh, peeking out from the sole there. And on the back, you got an Adidas logo there. All right. Now, let's take a quick look if I can get the insole out here at that. Uh, I think it's, it's not stuck in there, it's kind of hard to, there we go. All right, so you got a black insole with Yeezy Adidas branding in gray. All right, nothing too fancy there, but just wanted to give you guys a look at it. <clears throat> okay, now that will be all for the Yeezy 700 MNVN in the triple black colorway. As always, before we get into the on feet, I like to give y'all my final thoughts on the shoe. So, do I think this particular colorway is a must pick up? I'm gonna say yes. Now, reason being is because like I said earlier, this is one of my favorite Yeezys now to wear daily. Um, I think the 700 is a really comfortable model in general because of the thick midsole and you've got the boost there. Um, but it's one of those shoes like the 700 V1 or V2 for example, that once you put it on, it's not as comfortable out of the box if you're used to like wearing a 350, for example, which is extremely like, you know, got the bouncy feel when you put it on. The 700 is not like that. But what I will say, I like this model, as far as comfort goes, better than the V1 and the V2. And the reason being is because of this nylon material and how it fits around your foot. It's pretty soft and with the boost and everything and that padded tongue especially, that's another thing. It makes this shoe really comfortable. And I think the most comfortable 700 model, period. Um, <clears throat> I, will, I will mention though, you have to get the right size. If you don't, your, your feet are gonna be screaming. Um, now, speaking of sizing, I picked this up in a US men's size 10, which is technically a full size up for me. Uh, I have not tried uh, a half size up. Some people say that you can go true to size, but I've also heard people complain about having something like pinching on their foot in the midsole area, in the midfoot area here. I don't know. I don't have any issues with that at all on a full size up. So my recommendation, I also have wide feet. I would say at least a half size up. But in my case, I went a full size up and they fit great. Absolutely zero complaints. No issues in the toe box area. Yes, it's kind of slanted. It's a sleek toe box, just like every other Yeezy shoe. But um, this nylon material, it's like, it's not as tight as some of the other models. And I think in a full size up, I got plenty of room. So yeah, at least half size up, full size up if you got wide feet and you will not regret it. Uh, yeah, I think that's about all guys for the 700 MNVM Black. Oh, I didn't mention, I actually picked these up on Yeezy Day. So this was a, I think I hit on the Adidas Confirmed app. So that was good. You know, I didn't hit on anything from Yeezy Supply and I'm not surprised at all. But Adidas Confirmed did uh, give me three Ws. So this one, the Dark Glow 700 and the 700 v1 wave runner so i was happy about that but out of all the shoes this is the one that i was kind of the most excited for because i already have the wave runners and the dark glows i already got the alva so i don't really need the dark glow but you know this is one of my favorite shoes now um but yeah guys comment down below and let me know were you able to pick up anything on easy day or do you actually own any of the MNBNs at all? I'm just curious to know and how you feel about the model in general. Like I said, it's one of my favorite shoes to wear daily now. And um, yeah, just wanna know how you guys feel about it. Thank you for watching. Please drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you next time.